maybe you've been wondering about behavior you know hyperactivity and can't sit still what is leading to some of these issues that maybe your child maybe yourself or someone you know you know how does this happen where lack of focus concentration and overall just constantly on the go affects people so my name is Ryan Watson and I run a psychological Watson Psychological Health Center and um, I've been working with kids in treatment for about 15 to 20 years now so one of the things that I incorporate in treatment is that we begin to look at what is actually going on within the brain and a lot of people when they have these kind of behaviors they use the fidget spinners they use these fidgeting toys and one thing I want to say is are these always the best option because we know that when we look at the brain we're gonna see some fundamental issues we know that in in doing brain mappings uh, QEEG and different things like that that we're gonna see increased levels of theta we're gonna see some regions of interest that you know maybe through brain training or mineralization or good dieting and exercise could make an impact on how an individual's brain is functioning and so this is basically the uh, mapping process that gets that digital image that you just saw and it kind of begins to show us hey what can we do to strengthen and help the qualitative function to improve the quality of life and this is really important because we've got to shift our mindset in what we've been taught or maybe what we've been thinking you know in the medical world we give a stimulant they would diagnose ADD or uh, you know a whole possible range of, of diagnosis and they would give them an amphetamine based product like Vyvanse or Ridlin or Concerta one of those things and what that does is actually speeds up that theta activity wave that we were talking about so it decreases the number of theta waves that we have one of the things that I like to also look at is what can we do from a functional approach meaning can we integrate natural things and what might or might not need to be integrated one of the things that I commonly see with mineralization is that young children with hyperactivity and just lack of focus concentration and constantly on the move they struggle with things like they're deficient in calcium magnesium and zinc these are kind of known as your sedative minerals and that can have a huge impact and I've worked with numerous people that have just truly enjoyed the results now are all these results common all the time no but you know it's an option and these things can give you a lot of information now this test on the screen is just for experimental talk right now I don't ever want to disclose a kids information always want to be really careful about that kind of data and just different issues that could uh, uh, violate somebody's privacy so that's really important to us here at Watson Psychological Health Center but as a kid grows up you know the common belief is they'll grow out of it you know they'll get over it they'll get better what I've learned is in doing this for the amount of time that I have is oftentimes I see that that fast oxidation rate now fast oxidation rate goes right back into metabolism there's a couple of other things that you need to understand with that but for this in video let's just leave it at that for a moment so that fast oxidation rate I apologize moves into a slow oxidation rate as they get older and oftentimes you know there's some minerals that can come out of balance like copper and a few other things now in the test you may look at and think well the one you see on the screen copper is low that would be okay well you know one of the things that I've noticed over time is you see the blue lines going across the screen and that is ideal as you see my cursor right there you want these right here to be in this blue zone and so one of the things that we don't just want to treat the brain at Watson Psychological Center we want to treat the body the mind and oftentimes as a kid has gone through some of these experiences in life it's created a belief system which has impacted uh, their feelings of self their confidence you know they've been labeled they've been talked about so we want to deal with that approach as well because every kid has a great opportunity and I tell people all the time you have the potential to do whatever you set your mind to and I truly believe that 
And so when you get good information, valuable information on which direction and what to do, it's really insightful and beneficial for that individual. So there's some examples. If you've enjoyed this video or you want to learn more maybe about some of the the depths of this or just the different things that I've talked about today, hit that like, subscribe button. Please leave a comment and we will get back to all the comments in a timely fashion. You know, we are busy in the office and we do accommodate, you know, you may be thinking, well, Ryan, I, I can't do that because I live too far or whatever. I work with a lot of people by distance. And so um, through COVID, we've learned a lot of things about how to make those processes streamlined and much easier to do and manageable. So if you have any questions or you maybe would like to have a consult, go check out our web page and give us an email or give us a call here at the office and we'll be more than happy to connect with you. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Until next time.